When I heard the sad news that Neighbours was coming to an end after 37 years, I simply had to jet back over to Melbourne, Australia, where the show is filmed, to see what was going on. Do you come from a land down under? After all, I am a former award-winning star of the show. You Australians really know how to cut loose. Oh, yeah, I suppose we do. Do you know what? I haven't been grumpy for four hours. I think that's a record for me. Well, here I am on the set of Neighbours. I wonder where everyone is. I need to get rehearsing for my big comeback. I was such a big hit last time. I knew they'd want me back, and I've even written some ideas for my part. Can't wait. Oh, hello. Jess, what are you doing here? I'm here for my part. I think it might have been a little misunderstanding you know, as far as a park. But I tell you what, you know what? You've come all this way back out to Australia. How about I give you a bit of a tour around again, eh? That'd be Just great. One last time, eh? Whilst waiting for my big comeback, <laughs> I wanted to sit down with the cast, old and new, to see how they're feeling about this iconic Aussie show coming to an end. Stefan's been playing Paul Robinson on and off since Neighbours' very first episode back in 1985. So how must he be feeling about saying goodbye to a character he's been playing nearly his whole adult life? I'm in the, the numb period at the moment. Denial. Yeah, yeah. I have. I've, I've got my head in the sand a bit at the moment. Can I point out that since day one, Stefan, you have had six wives. Six wives. Six. Six. I was the lucky last. As wife number six. Mm. Uh, it, is it going to end happily? You know, our fans would love us to get back together, and we would love us to get back together. Um, well, give us a clue. Look, it's, it's, <laughs> if, if, if we do, I don't know how they're going to do it. Seriously, what will you do now the show's coming to end? I'm going to semi-retire. I'm leaving myself open for any jobs that may be forthcoming. <laughs> We're not desperate. <laughs> and you released a pop record. Gonna make a feel good. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, so is there any chance you'll release another record? I do enjoy singing. I really love singing. And in more recent years, I discovered my rock voice, which makes me a lot happier. But I think if I was to release a record now, it'd probably be, you know... Well, I don't sit, know. Sitting by the campfire with my... my, my the fireside oh, with my slippers. Don't do yourself down. I know that Scott and Charlene have filmed their scene. Did some filming the other day, which was absolutely fantastic, because yes. I haven't seen Clicky for a good number of years. And I haven't seen Jay since just before the pandemic, I think when I was last over in the UK. Yes. We had all the old legendary characters, let's call them, in uh, one scene, and it was just, it was great. There was no awkwardness at all, even though we hadn't seen each other for a while. We actually had a blast of a day filming. It was really great. Are Scott and Charlene still married? Yeah, of course they are. Because they left to go and live in Brisbane. Yeah. And, and how many years happily, ago did they leave? Happily, well, that was, what, 1988, I think. Well, that would be a remarkable <laughs> marriage <laughs> by today's standards. You... And what happens in their scene? You'll Who? find out. It's now time to meet one of Neighbours' most iconic characters, Jared Rebecca, also known as Toady, played by Ryan Maloney. You've been playing Toady since 1995. Yes. How does it feel to be saying goodbye to him forever? It's pretty sad. You've lived most of your life on the show. I've lived more of my life on the show than off, yeah. You had the famous mullet. I What's lost that when I got them? my hair cut. Is it in a museum? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I auctioned it off for a charity. <laughs> so I actually have no idea where it is. Anymore. Is it over, Lou? Mate, I haven't even started. <laughs> So oh, you yeah. married D, yeah. and then you were in a car driving along the edge of the ocean, you kissed, yeah. the car went into the sea, and what happened? Well, she disappeared, only to come back many years later. Yeah, and it turns out that she actually had an evil twin sister. Who knew? You are nothing like her! You will never be anything like her! What are you going to do next? Have you made any plans at all? You know what? I had to get an agent. Really? I haven't had an agent in, oh, I don't know how long, yeah. I also wanted to meet Georgie Stone, who plays Mackenzie. She broke boundaries back in 2019 when she became the show's first ever transgender actor. So Georgie, tell me how you got your part on the show. I um, wrote a letter 
to the executive producer of Neighbours, Jason Herbison, when I was in high school, um, basically pitching an idea for a character. I'm a, I'm a trans woman and we don't get a lot of positive representation. So um, I thought it'd be a wonderful opportunity to, to have a trans character on Neighbours. So I auditioned and then they liked me and then I you know, helped helped write the part and the story, which was really cool. How do things wrap up for Mackenzie? She's been in a relationship with the character Hendrix for about a year and a half. Um, he got very sick tragically, um, so they got married, and then three days later he passed away. And it's been a very traumatic time for her. And I hope we see light at the end of the tunnel, and there is a happy future ahead. Time now to sit down with another of the show's cast members, Annie Jones, who plays Jane Harris, and her screen daughter, Nicolette, played by Charlotte Chimes. Jane and Charlene were best friends, so what was it like working with Kylie? It was fantastic. We were both about 15, I yeah. think. Mm. We'd worked together previously on a kids' show called The Henderson Kids, yeah. so we already already knew each other. It was great And fun. you had Guy Pearce as a love interest yes. as well. Yes, <laughs> yes. Lovely guy. And it's since been announced that Guy Pierce will definitely be returning. Charlene! I know that for the end of Neighbours, Kylie and Jason have come back. So what was it like seeing Charlene again? It was a complete mind spin. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Yes, um, especially because we, we actually filmed out in, in Ramsey Street, I, I guess I can say that. Um, so that was very, very odd. Nan, why are you doing this? You've lost your family and now you're driving your friends away. You're both part of the Mrs Mangle dynasty. Yes. So I'm yes. looking at the granddaughter and the great granddaughter. How do you keep her legacy alive? There's a famous painting um, hanging up in our house. It will do something and then it'll be, oh, you know, grandma's looking at me. Because the painting's right there. Yes. With their judgmental eyes watching yes. us. We also wanted to hear from Neighbours executive producer, Jason Herbison. 37 years is an amazing achievement. Um, and whilst we're sad to see it go, we are ending on a high. This idea for the end, which you will see, uh, it, it just it just felt very clear to me that that's how I wanted to end the show. Um, and I, I can just tell you that it's a very warm return for Scott and Charlene. I know they got a big kick out of it. It was very nostalgic for them to be uh, back on the street. Uh, and I think the viewers are going to enjoy it too. When you see Harold Bishop back in the show, that is the beginning of, of what we've been calling the farewell tour. From Harold onwards, there's a lot of amazing faces that you'll remember. Is there any chance whatsoever the show could come back one day? I'd love to think that it could. There is potential for the show to return in some form someday. We're very, very lucky to have actually lasted this long. Never say never. Never say never, that's right. Yeah. Where's the director? Excuse me, my last appearance won an award. Janet? Janet, I know it's you. It's no use hiding, you can take the glasses off. Now, come on, I said there isn't a part for you. You've been hanging around here longer than Ned Kelly. So much for neighbours being good friends. It's the end of an era. This is Ramsey Street Porter signing off. Look what I managed to nick. The good news is it will go for a fortune on eBay. See ya. Good.